Tom hovering over I'm the sorry. Line. <laughs> I can't take the anticipation. Dude, save dude. it, bro. All right. Save I'm it. saving. We're back, dude. It's been a while. It has. Did we have two it's guests only, in a it's row? It's only or? been a week for you guys on the listening. Did we have two guests in a row or just the one? Just Cameron last week. Just Cam. That was a fun episode. Dude, we haven't done this in a while, I feel like. Yeah. The week before was American Assassin, right? And you mm-hmm. did your impressions and it felt like a guest, you know? <laughs> it just felt like we were... Michael Keaton was <laughs> in the in the room. Yeah, it felt like we were just shitting around on that one, you know? Dude, what I mean? <laughs> just that's like a shirt, bro. <laughs> we're just shitting around. That's um, a new button for us. Bye-bye. <laughs> Still Every, me, dude. We just I text can't. each other that now. Like <laughs> if we spell, yeah, we spell bye bye. <laughs> um, dude, freaking wow, are you no getting spons, right to, no, no I was like, are you getting right? By the to way, it? if you're watching on YouTube, I was like aligning my drink. No spons, though. <laughs> no um, sponsor by Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sponsored by Gatorade. <laughs> I love. Oh that, shoot! Dude. I left my notes, bro. Hold on, let me oh, let me you're get up. Making it look let official, me. dude. Wow, you did bring your notebook. I'm proud of you. Keep your headphones. Take them off. Take them. All right. We made it. I did it. That's live content for that you guys. <laughs> that's, walk around. That's no edit. Dude, no edit. <laughs> Dude, we need to edit some We stuff. hire an editor, so what do I edit? Nothing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our table's coming apart. Carol! Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we kind of Can I we get some it. new cloths in here? She didn't do the linens. <laughs> the linens. <laughs> <laughs> I opened my notes, bro. Look. (laughs) (laughs) I forgot my notes. Post-it note. Oh, my God. (laughs) I'm proud of you, dude. Brooke's texting me. She's literally here. Can you text her back? What is she saying? It's confidential, dude. (laughs) Oh, my God. We're back in this uh, studio here. um, Commercial break. (laughs) While Nicole sends. Elevator music. While Nicole sends that. Dude, we're doing Jojo Rabbit. Uh, we're still coming around to these uh, these Oscar movies. They're they're lined we're, up, dude. We're lined up. We got some in the works. Surprise. We told people like. Oh, did we? I forgot. No, not that. But we okay, told right, people right, right. that like we were gonna get to these Oscar movies, even though we didn't watch all of them. There's some good ones out there. So I'm really glad that you watched this one. It's kind of hard to do no one know what an Oscar movie is gonna be while the year's going on, and also to when they do come out, fitting those in. Yeah. What is what was it? Two weeks before the Good Oscars God. actually happened. Well, because that's when they dropped the list. I don't know. Last year was a year definitely where well, we knew we had a feeling. Like we were in Ford versus Ferrari, when we were like Oscars. Oscars yeah. <laughs> but it didn't win any. Plus, Fox was like Oscars. Poor man. thing didn't have a chance. Dude. dude. Well, Bale and Matt Damon didn't even show up. He didn't show up to the award show. Every time it came on screen, it was <laughs> just his picture. <laughs> like they were like, they were like who uh what's his name that directed it um mangold mangold he was like <laughs> he called him and he's like don't come guys it's not it's not gonna be worth it thanks for thanks for promoting but <laughs> bail we can't i'm sorry bail's fucking angry behind the I'm scenes i'm surprised you didn't even get on the nomination list bro uh, same same um man well we're getting back to it jojo rabbit let's crack these i want to drink this dude i got very on brand for this episode. Yeah, let's, You'll let's understand crack. if you watch. Oh, my I'm dude. sorry. I'm that sorry. That mixer can't take any more beers. Oh, I know. We're drinking huh. Favorite Blonde by Holiday 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 Brewing Company um, out of me. Golden, Colorado. Wow, and they're on brand. Why did you pick this one? I don't want to. Dude. <laughs> Take sip. It's a joke, guys. Favorite it's a blonde. Joke. Because, as we know, he didn't succeed. The Aryan race was blonde and blue eyed. So, Nicole picked <laughs> a blonde beard. That's hilarious. It's, I'm out it's of here. not, I'm not, gonna, it's not the best. I, I don't really like blondes that much. I don't either. I just didn't want an IPA. And, guys, mm-hmm. I do it. For the content do it for the content I, mean? I think it's good though it's not as um it's not my favorite like i said but it's not as strong as some of the blondes i've had i think it's not as light as some of the blondes i've had yeah. which is why i don't personally well, like it light i mean you know it's like okay. it's like coffee can, can i explain myself it's like coffee bro can I explain? like a medium roast is like actually like strong can i explain what 
I saw this in the fridge, right? Mm-hmm. There was there was another beer that was like almost it was like a campfire thing, and you know it could have gone with this movie. But I saw this one, and I was like, oh, the little kid in the movie, the main kid, he's blonde. I didn't mm. even think of the implications, bro. And then you were like, but it no, works and either then way. My my friend Savannah pointed yeah. out she was like, oh yeah, th- you should do this one because of. Yeah. Blah blah blah, and I was like, "Oh shit, you're right." <laughs> I was like, "Is that too much?" And she's like, "No, I think it's hilarious." So that's awesome. It was voted on by one other person, so you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, it's good. I didn't. I haven't eaten, so I might be a little messed Fuck, up same. through this. Today uh, slapped me, dude. Dude, work was crazy. <sighs> yeah, you're weak. I'm watching. I'm, I'm watching you're here. JoJo. I'm watching JoJo. That's blo- my phone's blown up. Call me, call me. Shit's hitting no. the fan. I'm like, pause, JoJo. Fucking <laughs> Jesus. So uh, my input in this movie may be a little different, you know, than like a theater That's experience. But um, dude, and then on the way down, fuck, dude, people are so fucked. Way up. down what? Way down here to drive down oh, here. Oh yeah, because it's raining. Dude, some guy. They can't do it. These guys were chasing each other on the freeway. And this Jesus motherfucker, Christ. this dude threw his big gulp out the window and splashed all over this guy's Don't car. Don't tell me that, man. They I were chasing you. Tra- well, yeah, and I just just hate in general. Like. <laughs> and speed racing. Dude, was it Dodges? Be honest. <laughs> Be honest. No, one of them was a Corolla and the other one was a Chevy, bro. Like dude, an, that's some like, like hillbilly old showdown. Old <laughs> that's Chevy. That's some hillbilly showdown right there. Like the green and oh, silver and no, red Chevy you. from like the 90s. No. That type Chevy. I always just think about the meme where it's like <laughs> me going 70 in the hover lane. <laughs> the, the, the Ram. <laughs> The Ram, the Ram with the LED headlights. <laughs> Dude, I just saw that. With, it was Obama and what's his name? I oh, think should I have not you seen, seen that one? You haven't seen that one? Oh, I'm going to have to show you after. Dude, but no, it's take that's too long actually happened to me a few times. Like, I've been in on the freeway going like 80. Yeah, you're going way over the speed I'll, limit. I'll look behind me and it's always that truck. But, like, that's happened to me a lot this past few weeks damn dude i just saw it and i thought when you were saying that i thought you saw it too on no i'm just thinking of the superman one okay yeah there's a ton of them but like (laughs) this one made me like laugh out loud why don't you send that content over i I don't know our meme content is dry right now dude dude. (laughs) have you seen this guy (laughs) Mm, all right we gotta get out of my phone (laughs) (laughs) shit's hilarious all right that's for dinner that's That's for dinner (laughs) that's over dinner tonight i can't wait for them wings no All right, spawns, guys, no, no spawns. No spawns. We're not going to drop the location. Check us on Instagram for the Yeah, for the, the pop, I'm sure the paparazzi will post some. You know, check TMZ. They're always on Twitter, dude, getting us. They just know where we are. <laughs> we go to the same spot we're, every day. <laughs> and we're putting it everywhere. Dude. Okay, so what do we start Sam, with? Me and Sam have differing opinions here. What do I we think. start with? As you guys know, this is an Oscar uh, winning adapted screenplay it which did. i think it does deserve but i never read the book so same i didn't do my research for this movie i'm sorry so guys. if you've read the book you know reach out to us on instagram facebook twitter at the film crawl tell us how it is i might um, read it honestly yeah tell us how how it is but shop local i love taika dude dude he's such a refreshing director like yeah everything that he's doing now is well that he's done has always been I don't, I don't know. Like, even he's done some episodes of Mandalorian and stuff. Like, oh, shit. That's what he did the last one. Yeah. Only, and he even was. I forgot about that. And he even was. Um, the little cyborg. The IG-11 must self-destruct. I don't know how you remember names. Bro. Sam and names. Star Wars, guys. though. So it's like, <laughs> true, takes true, precedent true. over. No, anything. Any movie <laughs> where I'm like, what's that guy? You're like, oh, yeah, Tom. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm like struggling oh, to number describe. Oh, <laughs> I'm struggling to describe yeah. the guy, and you're like, what? <laughs> and I say who he's active on, you're like, oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, so Tiger's uh, awesome. Um, I love his stuff. Let's just jump into likes. <sighs> We're praising right, the dude, dude off high heaven. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I think, okay, I think this is my first dark humor comedy that I've seen. In a while? I think, like, or ever. Really? No, I feel like. I feel like I like, like dark humor, but like right. I feel like I haven't watched many movies. I haven't watched it, but what's the one you mentioned on Ex Machina? And I feel like we always mention it. Um, Sucker Punch. That wasn't dark comedy. No, it was like action though. 
But I mean, this usually, has action in it too, but like yeah. it wasn't like comedic at all. I think huh. was it? I've never seen it. Dude, we gotta watch, watch that. I know. I will. Oscar I- movie. That's a yeah. Because Oscar Isaac, like he's. I, I would like to. It's see It's pretty that. funny to watch over that because yeah. he's pissy off like in Ex Machina. Fuck. Like, that's my favorite. Get out of my room. That's my favorite Oscar Isaac. Yeah, right dude. There. dude. Mad one. Throw me against the wall. Same. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. um. You know, I heard this movie has critics divided, bro. Okay, but also this was Saw not YouTube that thumbnails. dark of comedy. <laughs> I think people are only saying it's dark comedy because, because it's Nazis and he's playing Hitler. Yeah, like sure, yes, it. it but they can do get make dark, some dark jokes. I well, yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Like a lot of that stuff was. I need to close this. I ba- guess it's Batman kind of how you suit look at leaks. It. Oh my um, gosh. <laughs> a lot of this stuff was like you know him. They were really talking about like real things. I, you know, yeah. it was like really. I think you could classify that as dark. But we come the, from a diff- I don't know. We have a different perspective on those things. But also, the, just f- credit to him as a director, like the way he, and also as a screenwriter, like the way he writes it and directs it, it doesn't feel like that. Like so. Yeah, an I example, get what you're saying. Like you're not like awkward you're not feeling like awkward the whole time or oh yeah or you're not like sweating like mm-hmm. looking around you mm-hmm. like oh shit like should i be laughing like you're not it's not <laughs> like, that. Laugh at that? Yeah, like the scene i think of is when um what is it the third reich like the big guys from the nazi army oh or the whatever gustavo the fuck? yeah when they when come, they come in, yeah, and yeah. he's home alone yeah and they're like heil hitler yeah heil hitler. like a hundred like, times yeah everybody goes like yeah. back and forth back and forth like that was a really funny scene yeah and obviously like that's there's dark history behind that obviously mm-hmm. but like it didn't feel like that you mm-hmm. know what i mean so it's just so interesting to me that the motion of the arm the the i'm not gonna do it on camera yeah. but because youtube's gonna fucking kill me <laughs> uh, but yeah <laughs> But, you know, it. don't you think societal, like, societal history, like, that is, to me, I think it's fascinating. That s- emotion of your arm, I get, like, oh. flipping people off is also mean, but, like. That like, if this, you're not careful. Yeah, this this s- symbolizes a yeah. lot more. Than, Fuck. And, I mean, you could say that about a lot of things, like the Black Panther movement with, yeah. like, the you know, the fists. Uh-huh. Or um, you could say that about a ton of different things, but it's just funny and interesting i think psychologically how yeah. people think about it well how so much they, weight you put behind yeah, it yeah and if you th- really think about it, they didn't do it too much especially when they're like in reality they would do this like mm-hmm. they would be like really close and yeah. just like put their hand up um, which i think is what he did what in that they scene. did a lot yeah, in that yeah. scene because yeah. like you're not gonna like you're gonna kill some right. <laughs> <laughs> freaking gouge your eyes out try yeah, to do it true, true, true. um but of course like it has strong implications and i mean even in if i don't know if people knew this but this is a history lesson um it's in america they we used to before this time they would say the national anthem or uh, the pledge I, of allegiance holding our arm out I just like that because it that. was just like a symbolistic thing of like, yeah. it's like the hand over the heart type yeah. thing so you know if someone comes along in the future and does the hand over the heart and it really is and then they become a bad person Fuck. you best know and we got gonna be doing the hand over the heart during the pledge of yeah. allegiance i just think that's that is funny yeah, like it's how one person comes along and like changes yeah. history literally because if you even uh countries now still do that motion with really? their arm um some like latin countries when they do their national anthem wow. like that's like their thing it's just like us doing the hand over the heart yeah but we used to do it, and then they stopped doing it. it that, I just didn't find that funny. Yeah. I, I think that's like, um, I think it's interesting. But you know, okay, a moment that I liked that is truly dark in here is at the end when everything's gone to shit mm-hmm. for the Nazis. They're, they're invading you know? uh, Berlin, or um, and Hitler kills himself, and so the apparition of Hitler, Taika Waititi, played by Taika Waititi, yeah, comes has, in the his room, has the bullet wound. We were dying at that. I he looks creepy though. Yeah, like yeah. yeah, I thought that was really funny, but like really eerie yeah I, we were laughing was, at that yeah i i truly think this is probably my first dark humor okay, movie okay. so i'm kind of like well done at least yeah, I, yeah. i'm kind of like i'm not on the fence um uh, but you know, okay i could see how you don't know how to feel yeah i don't know how to feel and i just for context i literally just watched this like today so i'm still kind of coming Hasn't down from it, it yeah but um I loved it. Like the, I think the writing and 
um, first off, freaking what's his name? I gotta find it here. Roman oh Griffin Davis, the little boy Jojo. His first he's movie is he's amazing. I his think he will movie. be a really good actor. Yeah, like he had some moments in here where he had to be very serious. Um, he had to be funny. He yeah. had to do a lot of stuff in this movie. And credit to Taika and his directing and his writing, but he really delivered like yeah. especially in those some of the heartfelt moments oh. i was like wow he's actually a really good actor usually when you have kid actors you kind of don't feel you that know innocence? if leo if leo cries on screen and then a little kid cries you feel different like yeah. and they're supposed to carry the same impact but they don't yeah. i felt like it carried a lot of impact and i think what the movie does well is they don't spend a lot of time on older actors besides Taika. I mean, they do mm. have these older actors, but it's mainly Jojo. It's how they center so, around mm-hmm. or how they orbit around And him it's uh, in his life. Um, the Jew girl. What's her name? Elsa. Yeah. Um, they're, they're, she's younger. So you're not she's like, older than yeah. Him, yeah, you're not like stranded though by like ScarJo all the time right. or, um, you know, or even Adolf. Like he's not in it a lot. Taika and Rebel Wilson. They're in it. Yeah but not a lot to overthrow Roman Griffin Davis. I think that's a strong strategy and I think it takes a lot of skill in like, how do we have these yeah. characters in it? But I don't want their acting to outshine like our actor, our Jojo. You know what it is? Like he, they, all of the grown ups in this movie, minus the mom, Scarlett Johansson, like, um, are kind of, she's, played by like uh, this is her best role i've ever seen her in, really honestly. this You're is gonna the say best that? i've ever seen her even wow, better than Mary i Story. actually had some I had really some, yeah. oh this was the best i've ever seen her i, I think she did a great job I but i have her. like dislike just section just okay going, yeah the, all of the adults are kind of played to comical effects right and right so it's almost like you're watching it through a child's eyes yeah i get i get what you're saying you know, yeah in this like world i was feeling that too so almost like charlie brown type yeah in a way like and that goes to the color schemes too, mm-hmm. uh, which I loved yeah. in this movie. They yeah, were very the colors warm are very warm. Um, I thought, war movie, God, yeah. yeah. And one of my favorite shots has the, uh, very vibrant colors in it. Do we have the same shot, dude. Don't you? say it. Same. <laughs> 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 uh, but I think I think um, I think we're on the same page there. I th- I felt I felt like this movie has a lot in it, and I think, but at the same time. I don't really feel for the plot. Like what? It almost to me, to me it almost felt like there wasn't much in the plot. This is a coming of age tale. I know, but it I just felt kind of like he's learning Maybe I was about he's learning humanity. about like, you know, what he's what, what right he thinks wrong, is right yeah. and wrong and I love I love that, but at the same time, I was kind of like, oh, I thought maybe I just came in. I th- was thinking the movie's gonna be different. Yeah, like, I didn't yeah. really know much about Jojo Rabbit, um, <laughs> besides it looked funny, like through the trailers. Yeah. But I was like, I don't really know where the story's going. I thought maybe he was gonna spend a lot more time as a uh, Hitler Youth, mm. which he doesn't. Like we find, like That's right true. away, you're kind of, you know, he's injured out of it. Yeah, like, bro, he'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Do those really smack? grenades yeah dude i know but the way it fell like well i don't know like if were they using like training yeah grenades like not the well, real they, they were stuff the ones with the stick. like they look like mice yeah i forget right? what they're called yeah. um those were like the main grenades because it bounced for back at him right it, yeah it landed yeah. like right in front of his feet. he's like on the top of him almost that's not true it bounced off a tree and like, okay landed right whatever <laughs> but he like come he walks away with like little to no he's face scarring i know but they're talking ty- like I kind of felt like, was that needed? I don't know. I, I think it adds to the, like the fantastical part of yeah. this, which is balanced with the reality of a lot of part of yeah. The, you know, d- a, p- the a lot of parts were like I'm. I was kind of struggling. Like, is it all supposed to be fantastical, mm-hmm. I, or is it real? Is it not real? Like, is even ScarJo real? Like, I was even thinking that at some oh. points. It a lot of the stuff felt like up here you know like it felt like like acting was like way overdone and i that's not i'm not griping on it Hmm. because i think it's the tone is supposed to be like that but i come into this movie i don't really know much about it yeah and i'm kind of like oh where i couldn't feel it you know i was like where am i are you talking about sam rockwell and theon Greyjoy? yeah and theon theon (laughs) Greyjoy, reek bro I forgot. Yeah. I didn't even know Reek was in it. Put some respect on his name, Sorry, bro. bro. <laughs> Reek, go give me. Go House Greyjoy. 
<laughs> I liked him in it, and I thought, uh, and Sam Rockwell was I was funny. Love Sam Rockwell. He was funny. He's great in everything. Iron Man two. Haven't seen. Bro, we need to do an Iron I know, Man series. I know. We need to a year a year of series, They're bro. Locked down. <laughs> Put on the list, Carol. Wait, no, yeah, thank you. All of twenty twenty one. Just we're just doing series. Fuck, dude. The whole year. <laughs> we could fill a whole year, bro. Hey, that's fifty two episodes. Easily. Save it for Bond, bro. <laughs> um, I thought he was. I thought he was funny. They they were the most fantastical out of everybody. Yeah. Besides, you know Hitler. I didn't, well, obviously they're they're gay, but I wasn't. I but I liked the n- subtle, not so the subtle. subtle like, not, yeah, of yeah. Like yeah, because the first time, are. the first time when he's like feeding him or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, and then and then you finally like figure it out. But wait, was that before they like almost kiss? And they that were like, was no. before. Okay, yeah, I didn't. It was. I, I didn't it was that, that but moment but. was like right after he gets back from being injured. Right. Right. Um. Fuck, and I then know. like she w- Scarjo walks in with him and yeah. then they're like feeding each other okay, but it, okay, it didn't right. look yeah, like yeah. too like sexual or like yeah. hom- and then, the and, then, and then that happened the second part when they almost kissed yeah. I was like oh it's fucking hilarious and I loved <laughs> it I don't care <laughs> but I'm like confused because I'm not confused about that but I'm confused about like his like suit at the end <laughs> like the Be- like the rocker and like, like yeah the, I think they were like I think it was his like him making fun of of like the typical of, idea of that you Nazi have of gay people. Of what? Of the typical idea that people have of gay people. Like oh, they're gonna, like they're gonna be flamboyant. Yeah, about exactly, it or with their okay. outfits when like uh, you know it's gotcha. not like that. You okay. Know? Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of. I wasn't. I wasn't. I couldn't figure out if he was trying to do it against like the Nazis or oh, against like. Yeah. I think it was both. Oh, so yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> so that was funny. I thought that, that was, was funny. funny. But the that scene like funny. preceding that, dude. The, okay, so that's another like I have. The emotional sequences in Are these actually movies really good. hit you hard. Mm-hmm. Like when they hit, they hit hard, and they kind of come out of nowhere. You're like, gonna, am I you're wrong? gonna talk about it, bro? <laughs> Are you gonna talk okay, about well, it? Well, let me ask you something. That hurt me, dude. That I didn't expect hurt. it. I didn't expect it to be that. Good. Okay, but let me ask you. So throughout this whole movie, there's right before the moment that we're there's, gonna talk they about. They foreshadow the hell out of it. What did you think was going to happen with those shoes? Like they, they. So mm. he um, films scenes with um, what's the mom's name? Uh, Rosie. Rosie and JoJo. She dances with him, and right. Taika like films their feet, feet their a shoes. Lot, yeah. Um, and they highlight her shoes, her dude. film wear. I know, right? Her like <laughs> shoes very. They're colorful, Keenly. yeah, and and they're, like they're obviously different than most shoes. So I was like, okay, there's a reason that we're seeing this, yeah. but when it happened, Didn't see it coming, dude, uh, that hurt me. And they foreshadow it heavy with him like seeing them yeah, in the square, and she's yeah. looking at them like, yep, fuck. So it's like when okay, they're you walking knew. along before they ride the bikes. Yep, he's he's at foot level. Uh huh. Fuck. Don't make me cry, dude. It that was very sad. It was very sad. I didn't expect it to. Um, I mean, it's dark, but I didn't expect that at all. Should we say the scene, bro? Yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> oh, people yeah, that have watched the movies uh, I, yeah, already know, know what we're talking about, and but we already know the spoiler warnings and in the yeah. intros. But if um, you know, he's it's during the invasion, right, or right before the invasion. He's so like, it's towards the end of the yeah, movie, and he's going up to the same spot where all those. Um, we're assuming Jew sympathizers or something along those lines, traitors of the Reich, I guess. Or know, Jewish thought. themselves. Yeah, or Jewish themselves. Yeah. We're hanging in the square, most likely in front of like the government city, wherever they were. Public shaming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we, he's walking and then looks up and it's, it's his mom's shoes Fuck. and it's ScarJo's shoes, Rosie. And it's so, I mean, they do such a good job at subtly yeah. nodding at it. I mean, it's honestly kind of subtle. I think when I was watching it, I was like, this is foreshadowing for something. I didn't expect that. But yes. I was also like, this is foreshadowing for something. Like, the shoes mean something. Right. Um, I, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm watching the movie. But I'm also like, these are actually good uh, camera shots. Like, good yep. shots as well. Very mm-hmm. good scenes. Like, I almost thought, like, the shoes being at his high level, as his eye level, was something like, he's so small in this world. Like, he's young. Like, people are so much higher than him. He's yeah. trying to be up there with her or with these people like Mm -hmm. um with his fellow hitler youth people that are like succeeding past him right so i took it as he has 
he has shoes to fill or he's looking for shoes Fruits to fill, to fill and yeah. Elsa fills those shoes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like way. that's what I was taking it as. And I really am just, I, I need to rewatch it. Yeah. But this is definitely a rewatchable movie that I can I think it would be fun to rewatch. Yeah, watch like, I wouldn't be opposed to it. At least every year? I don't know. It, it was really good. But just to see how he does it to where I know that, like, in the back of my mind, I knew she was going to die. Really? Especially when, obviously, like. When she, when you found out she's, like, she's working, hiding, this girl hiding her, her yeah. and working, like, doing, putting spot, like those uh oh yeah the propaganda down yeah. or whatever yeah i was like okay there's there's got to be an end game yeah. to this but still when that scene happened it's like holy shit i didn't know that was gonna yeah. happen you know i thought something with his dad or like whatever so I, i'm really curious as to just um, how he did that it's so props to brooke dude she called it that his dad really before we found out about scar joe okay well we found out she helped the jew yeah but before that um we found out she was like placing the propaganda around uh-huh. um, pro- pro- props to Brooke. She was like her, his dad is probably fighting for the other side. He, so he's a Nazi. No, no, no. Like he's, he left Germany or he abandoned oh. his, abandoned the country to help fight for the other side against Germany. Right. So do you think he's still alive? I thought so. I thought he would be at the end. Like I yeah. thought make well, this would, it does end, I guess happy, but yeah. um, I thought it would end with like him, like, actually returning home because she said he would come home oh that's uh, right maybe he's dead who knows but that's not the point that's not the point of yeah. it but um of the story but i thought maybe it would be something because they have the whole scene wake like, about her playing like his dad yeah and stuff and i thought that was really good and really like good you scene. said scarjo is actually really good in this movie yeah i just a lot of the time i felt like she didn't feel like a mom huh but also I don't know if they're going for like true German parent. Like, I don't know. Like she mm. just, she, f- it felt weird because she wasn't Scarlett Johansson. And you you're know? so used to seeing her. In yeah. Other we're yeah. so used to seeing yeah. her and doing different, like That's doing fair. roles. I'm like, okay, it's Scar Jo. It, she was actually really good. You so believed I, her as a mom and marriage story though? What? You believed her as the mom and marriage story? Yeah, but dude, that's like true, like American, like mom. It's the haircut, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the Karen the cut, bro. <laughs> the Karen cut. No, but like for real, I think I believed her more as a mom, and well, oh, the marriage story is a little bit different because it's like fighting for her kid. But it was hard to believe that she had an older daughter that had died because that's a plot in this movie. He did? No, she did. She did. His older she, sister. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It almost felt like, yeah. It, like, that, like, that was kind of, for like, what was she looked too young. Uh, but, I, again, I don't know. Time, yeah. But still. But for what was happening, like, in the world, she felt too happy in a way. But at the same time, she wasn't. Uh, of course, she wasn't, yeah. like, happy. But, like, yeah. obviously, she was happy because the war was going to end. About well, that's that what makes stuff. those scenes even better. Like, when she's at the table and she gets upset that he's like, I want my dad. Yeah. And she's like, you want your dad? Like, when she breaks yeah, and yeah, yeah. she stops like being that, that perfect mom mm-hmm. you know i th- that's what makes it hit yeah so she much felt harder. too like like chill i don't know i i was like is this really his I mom get, okay so because she was out 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 all the time yeah like, and like, like home alone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah i was like what she's not even like raising this kid yeah, yeah i get that okay. <laughs> you know like I, I see. but i get what she was doing it just felt kind of odd in some places but I, w- I wasn't like oh this is stupid mm-hmm. i understand and the movie also again is like a comedy it's not everything's not supposed to be taken so literal yeah um but that's where i find some uh issues is when i'm like when am i what am i supposed to feel when am i supposed to think like she's mm-hmm. real you know like she's being like real real gotcha. versus comic comedic versus dark humor like uh, i think it's a fine line you gotta play in writing this movie and it does a really good job but hmm. are, can we go into dislikes or are we done i mean hold on i want to keep okay going. Like, I, I like i have a point on that yeah yeah i like a lot of um the i mean i wasn't alive in this time i don't really know what it was yeah. like but it did feel like nazi germany i were so and that's what's so hard about watching a movie like this because i i love history Mm -hmm. i love you know world history american history i like all learning about this stuff and sometimes we don't even know what's really true and i i really like want to see what like what do they learn in germany because they have Mm -hmm. to learn about this so like how is it pictured there 
How does I think they? I think they. I'm pretty sure they took the Nazis out of their school. Really? See, that's really interesting to me. I think. I think just. I just like history. I think that's like super interesting. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. I feel like I heard that somewhere. You know, it's it's it would be equivalent to like us taking slaves out of. Yeah. Out of history. Absolutely. Like, Which oh, we right. kind of do. We yeah, I mean, when we learned about it in school, I, if you, if you remember a lot of it, I because I love the history class, but yeah. I think a lot of it wasn't. It's not touched on as they the most of the time it was touched on like, oh, you know, Britain brought these people over. Well, and it's or like glossed other, over. Yeah, it's, or it's kind of like it's like you know, one little very, section yeah. in the book, and those are big things that we should learn as as kids. I so bet. I think it's super interesting it's that that you know if you're a german growing up now like yeah. what what do you guys learn about i i think i would ask that question for a lot of different people like yeah. in england like what do you what do you guys learn about like yeah. what what is your guys's what do your history books say about us and what do you know how does that work um well, and education is so much better everywhere uh, else, yeah it's true you know? which yeah. which it could be even more in depth like, yeah um and so it's it's funny watching movies like this because i'm like oh that seems correct but yeah. just based on what we've learned but is it really yeah. like are we, was it really this like over the top right you know i get you because hitler was over the top but i was talking with brooke coming down here and it's like it takes a lot to convince a whole country mm-hmm. that you're gonna do what they did yeah and again it's hard did to pe- did normal residents know well they did know like they like we kn- they knew about this genocide that yeah. was taking place like people knew about this insane um of course there was the people on the other side but you're you're saying a whole country went through this like that yeah. to me is fascinating so i just think i want to learn i want to travel and like talk to people and be like i want to learn about if you guys yeah. hit me up dude i'll go Dude, if someone's tickets. listening in germany like like let's Shit, talk yeah i mean what do you guys us? talk about because um like, we're on we're on the perspective of like bad 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 and of yeah. course it was bad but um you know times were very bad for germany when hitler became of power like they were in a depression yeah there was a lot of shit going on <laughs> and then they just went all out well that just makes you think there's so many factors behind behind doing these building things. up that power you yeah. know and it's it's really insane and but just kind of yeah dreamlike yeah in a sense so that's like the movie felt like that though. Yeah. like felt dreamlike and i like that and i like the feel of it but every time i watch um war movies historical movies you know saving private ryan pro harbor like all this stuff i always think of dude that would be this would be such a crazy time and i know we live in a crazy time now yeah but like imagine being in britain or in germany history when these people are being bombed every night like i felt for when he walks out that next day and like everything's destroyed that's fucking crazy because we're so like we're privileged to not have that yeah yet <laughs> hopefully to, well to not well, know that yeah to not yeah. Know, hopefully that never happens for anyone else again but, but it's happening now to people but right yeah it happens all the time yeah for people but like you know there's never been besides the civil war like a huge in the revolutionary war there's never been really war on the united states soil good god the alamo we fought it. in a lot though <laughs> remember the alamo, the alamo. <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> um but I, I always think about that stuff and i think he does a good job and of course it's dark humor and I, I laughed at it i also thought do people like in germany did people go see this well you have to remember he's um a director of color like mm-hmm. he's, he's from new zealand right he's um indigenous i believe um so i think his perspective even is just like i think he knows america's sensitive right and so you could tell he's playing to that to where it's like fuck this is history right Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i know you guys are going to cause a fucking fit over hitler being in this movie right so i'm gonna do it like this i don't Mm -hmm. know it just Mm. it felt like he knew he knew how we would react yeah and he would it he just flipped it and i just respect him so much yeah i would actually yeah i'd actually be interesting to read the the book yeah because i want to see like how that's depicted because if he really went off that but yeah um 
yeah it would be kind of i just think it's funny it, i guess they're just touchy right like if this comes America? out in Ger- this comes out in germany though i don't think they like do they care, care? i don't think they do yeah it's all it's just kind of like i Dude, mean when <sighs> mean, my, like 12 years a slave comes out and like do we have care? you watched that i haven't watched that yeah it's like it's like it's sad I haven't watched. I it. mean, even like Django is like yeah. pretty bad too. But you're, you know, because you're coming face to face with what the fuck we did. The reality of things. Yeah. yeah. But even Django is kind of like this to where I mean, really, in a sense, like Django Unchained is very much like this. Just in not a way, as lighthearted. In a know? way, it's um, more of like action, but it's also kind of like a fuck you type thing. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. to to slave ownership. Yeah. Like. Well, and it's um, also Quentin Tarantino. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I wrote it, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, fuck everybody else. But I think a lot of these movies, they play, I th- this is, like, the type of stuff I think a lot of directors want to do in their careers. Is like, how do I get things across without, mm-hmm. one, ruining my career, but exactly. also, how do I do this with it being entertaining? I think they do a good job here. Um, Exa- and when directors do it like this, that's how you know they're good. Yeah, that's how you know yeah, they're, they're top notch. They're not pushing notch. buttons. They're yeah. not doing it to be like outrageous. You know, that's just like it's their point of view. It's their creativity, mm. and that's this is how they're doing it. And you just have to yeah. respect the game. And I, I think guess. timing is always huge. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I think like generationally, uh, our generation, the generation below us, like, well, for the most part, we're so we're so like, yes, these things happened in history, but I don't view people like that all the time. Yeah. Um, I think it's totally unfair for people of any race or whatever to assume the things that that race did is like, like if I assume something from you yeah, or you assume something from me just because of my race yeah. now, I think that's stupid and people need to not do that. But I think our generations are learning I hope so. to not do that as much. Right. Yeah. We're like, okay, yeah, you're white, but yeah obviously you're not ra- like you're not racist yeah it's just, just cuz it's fucking but hard man it's like a lot of time after that that yeah. would happen um so it's crazy i don't know i think i like history guys but that's a, that's the best of it Crack we should do it we should do a history uh history pod we c- we have history lessons in here sometimes sometimes, sometimes we bomb it though <laughs> I forgot what no, I was No, we bomb a stuff. lot of stuff. We, we bomb do. math. We bomb history. No, but there was one history one I forget. But Fuck, dude. Yeah, I don't I remember. We forgot the capital of something. Oh, <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, no. no. Um, let's go to let's go to dislikes. So that okay. was, I don't know. I don't want to say, I don't want to feel like people think I hate this movie, but. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see your, hear your shots. I just felt, usual. yeah, I just kind of felt um, weird with ScarJo's character. I thought she did great, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I didn't know how to feel about her. Like, I was like, is she a mom? Okay. Like, what is she? Yes. Um, and to go kind of on that point, um, I personally, we were, we talked about the emotional scenes, right? Yeah, yeah. I wish they had sat longer. Mm. You know, like, well, it, okay. It, but it also wasn't like, okay, that happened. And like, here we go. Yeah. Here's a joke. It was, it wasn't like but that. But the next but scene but always followed up with funny yeah Stuff. or it, it just it, it didn't seem to linger on the characters mm-hmm. like his mom fucking got hung mm-hmm. and sure he he sat about it and they have a they see uh her, he stabs elsa. her he stabs her elsa like barely like oh that's Remember, right yeah, right so after we get that. That scene, that's like the but most then powerful it's scene. also like it feels it doesn't feel as strong mm-hmm and that could be what I was saying Seeing about your mom like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Okay. So this was, I, I forgot about I went on my history lesson. I forgot about that. I was going to talk, we we're going to talk about that shoe spot when he finds his mom hanging. I thought he did an excellent job. Mm-hmm. Like yes. he did. Like, I felt like he did a really, really good job. I get what you're saying. It's hard to do with a kid actor. I, I don't know how I don't, I don't know like he's seen that he's seen that but like kids don't process things like we do like as and he's adults. also a kid that's like has to be an adult yeah he, so he has to, he's the yeah. man of the house so he i don't i don't know man like a, a kid would be devastated i understand that like they have they're smart enough to know what's happening yeah. but but how long would that 
they don't process it as hardly as uh, yeah. You know, as I'm not knocking him for. No, I don't I think the acting. I know what you're yeah, saying, I didn't know the act. I didn't think the acting was bad. He did it was a just great like, job in that. Absolutely. Scene. I just like. I just wish. It the sat emotion, on notes a little bit. Yeah, more, left yeah. left over from that scene carried on. Not even with just him. Just I don't know the the yeah. tone. There's something about it. I just wish the moments like. And that I think that's 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 like the fine line you got to play when you're doing exactly. a comedy slash something that's actually emotional yeah which is why i did not expect this scene to happen at all True. i didn't expect her to die at all i i mean mm. you said you were kind of feeling it i didn't expect it i thought hmm. sh- i thought maybe because the way she was being so except for this the dinner scene but yeah. being so like kind of perfect in a way chill. and, and yeah. chill and like <laughs> didn't feel like a mom really made a lot of jokes like i just didn't mm-hmm. see it coming um which G- props i mean it, it that scene hit me and then you know it hits the best because the shoes symbolism yes. is like and you don't and even the see up. her face the build yeah. Up. yeah you don't. and you don't even see her face and that's just i think that's a great decision. i don't think you don't see her hanging at all do they pan out and like they very do far? they do a little bit but it's far away yeah yeah but um, um i don't I think that's perfect. I think they probably shot it with showing her and not mm-hmm. showing her, but I think that was like the right decision. I think it Man. makes it, it made the impact a little bit more. Yeah. Um, Cause you don't need to know, like you don't need to see your face. You know, the shoes you've, right. you've, they've engraved it subconsciously in your head. And I think that's a great tactic. That's um, like but film your, and writing yeah, 101, yeah. like show don't tell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's but to like your point, the prime example, but to your point, I agree. Like then most of the heavy stuff that happens and there's a couple other points in this movie um, the next scene follows up with like Taika being Hitler, which is always like a mm. comedic part or just some sort of comedic thing. Yeah. And I kind of, you're kind of bounced around watching it, right? You're kind of like, oh, I feel for, whoa, we're fine. It's funny. Yeah. And it, it's not like I was uh, taken out of the humor and stuff, but when you're thinking about it or when the movie ended, I was kind of, I kind of just like was, <laughs> it was weird. It was like, I just watched like a series of events. Like I just didn't yeah. watch like a movie. I was just kind of like, so, what's you know happening? What? So that me bringing that up, like, honestly, that's kind of me nitpicking because I don't really have dislikes for this movie. Yeah, I you said this that movie before a lot. we started. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's me trying to find something. Mm-hmm. Um, but the pace. So to go off of that, it does. The pacing. The scenes and the emotion feel kind of fast. Mm-hmm. So the scene where Elsa the Gustavo are there and Elsa comes out and she, pretends yeah, to be that a was, sister. that was really big. That's moment. huge. And you also find out that Sam Rockwell's character is helped her. Mm-hmm. That's huge. And you kind of don't get, you don't like, you get that realization. You're like, Oh shit. And then like, yeah, you know, it just keeps yeah. going. Um, which it, it didn't bother me, but I noticed it yeah. and I kind of wish I had more time. So that's yeah. why I bring it up. I think a lot of the, uh, I think the the pacing feels kind of off too mm. for me because I get what the story's about, right? We we talked about it, like yeah. jo- ro- Jojo. He's trying to wrote. I almost said Rojo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jojo, we're talking about him becoming of age, knowing what's right or wrong, learning about what he's supporting and how that's mm-hmm. you know how that affects other people, learning about the Jews and stuff. Yeah, I get that, but he also has no destination like he doesn't have to Mm -hmm. me i feel like he doesn't have he's not trying to get from point a to b where's he trying to go in the movie well in the beginning he's he's trying to become a nazi exactly yeah that that gets kind of shattered right Right. away with the injury thing Mm. and then he's like kind of in the hitler youth kind of not and then he finds out what his mom's doing yeah so it just didn't feel like he's trying to get anywhere huh so if it was I don't know. Maybe other people feel like he, yeah, he was still on the path to, you know, you know, high Hitler and do all this stuff. He was still on the path to uh, become a Nazi. Like that was his goal. It kind of changes after the grenade moment. And Mm -hmm. I think um, that moment where Sam Rockwell lies, which would have had all of them screwed because he did lie about the birth date and he was going to give it to the Gestapo guy, but the guy didn't even take it. If you, I don't know if you noticed that because the Gestapo, the Gustavo oh. guy was like, hold on a second. And he started walking up and Sam Rockwell held out the the papers. That's right. Like he was like, fuck, like we're yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, But he didn't look at it. He just kept, he asked Doc, her something else. About that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he, got, he found the book. Yeah. The hey, Jew, uh, a, Jew well, monster or something. Yeah. Uh, 
I, why did I forget about it? You who Jew. Oh, that's what it was called. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that I moment that. would have been more impactful if I guess Jojo's still thinking that like, cause he's still in talks with his Adolf friend, but mm-hmm. um, I think it would have been more impactful if uh, the story kind of told us more that he was still on that path. Like, you know, he's still going to Hitler youth like events and stuff. Um, hmm. okay, so I don't like know. Longer yeah. The because or? then that would have been like, Oh God, like even my, co- my captain, uh, who I, who I kind of look up to right now is like a good, well, is he a good person? I don't really know yet because I'm, I'm confused as a kid. But um, that would, I don't know. I just feel like they were like, yeah, he's in Hitler Youth. He gets injured. Mm. Now he's just helping this Jew or talking with this Jew yeah. that's hiding, that's being held in his house. Um, I feel like he didn't have anywhere to go at that point. It was just, he, I guess, like you said, which is totally true. He's just trying to figure out what's what's going on in the world. Yeah, I think it's um, him coming to realizations of like what's reality yeah. and what he's been forced to grow up with. Yeah, I guess, and the, like you know, harsh reality of life. Yeah, your mom dies and fuck. Exactly. War yeah, that's like that's like my long version and connected to your yeah. point that some of these heavy moments maybe could have been mm. written out or uh, felt a little bit better. If maybe we're like, oh, this totally impacts his sto- Made more his, clear. his arc, right? Yeah. This totally like changes things, and now we learn he's going this way instead of that way. And but you were kind of just like, okay, yeah, he helped them. Mm-hmm. We're continuing on. We're helping her still. Yeah. Like where are well, we going? Well, that ending scene with Sam Rockwell when he helps him, like when he dude, I fell dude. for that too. Yeah, that one, that was that was really good. That actually was. That was very hard. It's pretty powerful. I, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I Sacrifice is huge. Obviously, he's going to die anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's why he, I think that's why he did it. Like he, he, Well, he it's him coming to face with his consequences, you know? That he was, he you know, he, f- yeah. And I thought, so when he went to the Gusta- with the Gustavo, I thought he was working with his mom. Uh, Sam? Sam, Rockwell? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, why were they there? He literally stops by because he's like, oh, I had a flat on my bike. Like, one, I didn't even know he knew where he lived. But, and like. The mom slapped him. Like, they knew each other. Yeah, they kind of knew each other. Dude, so I didn't know. To, I, I was under the that. impression that Sam Rockwell was an insider in this yeah. thing. Especially when he helped, obviously, Elsa. Yeah. Um, But then he's fighting in the th- at the end well it's like a professor snape thing right you're fighting for the bad guys you know what i mean like he's totally doesn't he when he does when he sees jojo at the end and they're about you know the americans are about to kill them all is the americans or the french it's the americans right i it looked um italian it looked okay oh not italian because they would have italian were bad at that point uh (laughs) it would have it looked french slash american the Um, guy speaks english but the american I'm just going off history. Here. Oh my god! The, the American, uniform? yeah, the American <laughs> uniforms were were not that color, okay. and and the hat was like way different. Okay, yeah, the hat. Yes. You a lot. So yeah. I was like, I don't, I, because he spoke English too, but I was like, they, I mean, I mean all maybe of your, just because. Yeah. Talks, yeah. So I, I thought it was like French of some sort. Maybe. Doesn't he mention his mom to him though? When he's like, your mom was a good person. Didn't he? Yeah. Say that? Yeah. She. He was like, I'm sorry about her. Yeah. And like, she was a. She was like a really good person. Like telling Jojo she was doing the right thing. Right. For what she did. But, like, but going off of what you're saying, because you knew her. Yeah, like you knew yeah. They doing. had some kind of connection. So, huh. I don't know. It felt kind of uh, weird. But I did like his his sacrifice was a, uh. was a lot. Um, it was sad. I mean. It was really sad. Again, he, as as Jojo, he does a good job. He does He's a kid. He doesn't really know, like, understand right yeah. all the way He yet. doesn't know that he's doing it because they're about to d- die. Right. You know? Ah. Uh. So. Oh, and his friend Yorkie. Dude, Yorkie was. He doesn't have his jacket (laughs) on. He's like, I need to cuddle my mom. (laughs) Yorkie was hilarious. He's so good. Our only friends are the Japanese, but they don't look very airy. (laughs) I fucking love that line was hilarious. And then also he was like, Yeah, it's a bad time time to to be be a Nazi. Nazi. (laughs) (laughs) He was so funny, dude. So good. And like the he like runs in slow mo. Like I don't know. Yeah, like he's just so cute. Like it's small. He's He's like Jojo, and then he like runs up to him. It's like such a funny scene. He's a little teddy bear. Yeah. Them on the red carpet at the Oscars was was fucking 
so adorable. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love them. So uh, I liked him a lot. Yeah. And they made fun of like the uniforms. <sighs> oh, yeah. You can't move in this thing or it, whatever. It's a <laughs> different paper. <Yeah. laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know much about the German yeah. uniforms, but that was. Uh, I don't know uh, how this protects Yeah. Us. Obviously, yeah. they were they were doing a lot of different, making fun of a lot of different stuff. But yeah. um, that was, he was a good character. I wish he was winning it more. Yes. That's I could be a dislike again, too. Yeah. Yeah, which, again like a little bit of the pacing like yeah. every time we saw him it was like a reuniting moment. And, and I guess it's yeah, and I thing. guess it's because like they've gone separate paths since his injury. Like yeah. he hasn't been in the in the youth as much. So mm-hmm. I get that um again though with him being a soldier. Yeah. At 11, I was just gonna say that. Yeah. I almost again like I don't know how to feel there. Is that just like the comedy thing? Yeah. Did that really happen? I haven't heard about that in 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 German history. But yeah. um, also, is it real or not? Like it just and then like when they drop the rocket and it blows up, that yeah. was funny. But again, I'm like, I just don't know. Like, am I supposed to be laughing at this point? I guess that's dark humor, right? It's like exactly. Where am I supposed like, to? Or feel? that you feel kind of bad for laughing, but yeah. like shit. I That's laughed. What's given. But <laughs> cuz he's just like, "Oh no." <laughs> well, and then just the, the filming of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, that was like, hilarious. It's some shit like And then like no one do. cares after yeah, that and point. Yeah, like, "All right." So. But that's also uh, again dark. Yeah. It's like that's fucking war, like that's what happened. Yeah. Like another another blow blowing yeah. like, you know what I mean? So, um, a lot of I get I I'm saying this is it's different for the pod right now. I yeah. I didn't know um This is know feel. You know what? This is a different one. Because it's, Great it's movie, good, though. but it, yeah, it makes. I me would feel definitely like recommend it to people. Like, mm-hmm. if they said, "Hey, have you seen it?" I'd be like, "Yeah, watch it." Um, just, it's gonna be pretty funny. It's gonna be emotional too. So, yeah. Um, do we go to the shots we love? Shots we love. Mine's you go cliche first. Bro. Mine's cliche as hell. I have. Can to I do guess it? Though. You know, yeah. Is it the riding the bikes one? Oh. Where they're where is on the hill. Um, that is a pretty one. I'm sorry. Or you're not getting. Come on, you've got Sam. I don't want to say mine though. If I don't know. I think they, ours might be the same. I don't know. Mine's don't know. cliche as hell. I don't know yours then. The, is shoes. It the shoes. It's I the, I know the, the death one or the the one before the death that? the death one yeah. the death one. It, I didn't it's expect so you. Haunting. I know it is. It's yeah. We yeah. were all we were all sitting there. We were all like like we all gasped out loud. Yeah, same. My theater was like yeah. holy shit. Um, it's, you know, 2019, great year for movies. Everyone fucking knows I'm on the Parasite bandwagon. <laughs> Not bandwagon. Like, I fucking yeah. love that movie. Yeah. Um, that's the best movie I've ever seen. But this scene, the shoe scene, is the one that stands out for me from 2019. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was, it was, it's, it's so. It does. It's, I, I don't, it's not out of the blue, but it's yeah. so, like, powerful and it hits you. And so, again, like we said, they don't show it. her face or anything and that just makes it even worse. I don't know why. But well, and then her uh, shoes are colorful and everybody everyone everyone else, else is hanging, yeah, you know, is yeah. like drab, you know? And um, that's why, I, like you said, yeah. they make it so prominent. Like mm-hmm. she's got red and white shoes. Like no one's wearing red and white shoes. Yeah. Like. So, so I, I have to be cliche with this one. Yeah. I don't like doing it most of the time, but this one I have to. Dude, what's one? Which is mine? <laughs> dude. You're not even going to remember it probably, dude. Can't, is it first, middle or end? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Final third, I guess. Final third. Is it when they um, Sam Rockwell and Theon like jump? No, over? but that, that's funny. I thought <laughs> I think cape. that dude the cape thing that was hilarious. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm jumping back to that though. The whole cape thing, like with your shot. Again, like, I right no, oh. I just didn't know how to feel when he's like, "Oh, here's my outfit." Like what? <laughs> like it almost that's truly, it, it just like, it was making fun. Yeah, of I just yeah. really felt like JoJo. Like it felt like almost JoJo was. Like after this grenade yeah. thing, he was just like in a coma, and like oh. this was like, this was like his like um, alternate reality type thing. Like, hmm. I feel like if they didn't show Hitler with him yeah. before the grenade, and then he started coming in after, that would have been like a true theory. But since yeah. they kind of showed him before, like we knew it was already a thing. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Huh. That's just that's just that's me. strong. Yeah, that's strong right there. <laughs> uh, mine is when they're um when they're you know right before she ties his shoes together and oh and up the stairs yeah and there's the huge that wide shot you guys know 
I, I did it with Parasite. I do it with everything. Holy shit, that's uh, right. And that and surprised me then. The yeah. green there, dude. Man, the colors they the colors on these cameras that they huh. grab. Because um, the like leaves, like the plants, I don't even know what they were. We- it, weeds. It wasn't like weeds. It's like a, some type of wheatgrass. No, no, it was the green, the green plants. Oh. But they're like up on that hill, yeah. and then the shot was so high up, and mm. they were so, they were way down there and talking. Yeah. Um, about like how the bridge used to be about love and like yeah. all that stuff, and I think I thought it was a really good shot. And that right there was the moment where I was like, "Oh, Scar Joe's a mom in this." But huh? Right after, after that, that, like she shit hits the fan. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I started liking. I liked her more. I started liking like their connection a little bit more. Mm. There, maybe I wished if it was a little bit sooner, but um yeah that's my shot i love so you down to the shots dude you already know i don't know if you guys are new uh zero out of five is the best movie we've ever seen sober yeah sober which i am not five right out of five shots would be uh you're blacked out drunk you don't remember the movie and don't want to so, nope. so that's with bad. that said i'm going with a two a two yeah yeah not a one? I'm going with a two, dude. I don't know. I feel like if you're... If I, I think had you have to let it sit on it. Yeah. Maybe I update grass. you guys via Twitter. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I feel like if I was a, had two shots, it would have been like... I wouldn't have cared so much about mm. some of the things that I had gripes with. Okay. Like, I would have just been like, it's just a comedy, you know? Yeah. I, maybe I was like overthinking the movie. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when I was watching this. Um, but... To me, I just felt like some of those things felt like the this a little off, like I explained. Huh. So I don't know, but I right. highly recommend the movie. I'm glad it didn't win Best Picture because if it did, Hard and if yeah, yeah, if it did, and I saw it now, and we yeah. did this, I would probably would have bagged on it more. Like I would have been like, "Damn, out of the competition, I don't Ouch. think so." But I think uh, I love Taika. I think he was hilarious. Yes, as he did a like great I just. Job. <laughs> There's some of those funny scenes, like when he's in the bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> like what? Like do you know, no one had any I- idea in that scene, and he's that's like, true. "I'm gonna be in the bed here." <laughs> yeah, like you true, know, true. he's like, he jumped in there, and everyone's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Roll yeah, the camera." Roll the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get with a two, bro. You're going with a one, bro. Uh, no, I'm giving it a zero. Wow! I'm giving it a zero. You didn't ex- you didn't talk about it like that much oh. that you would be. Hey, I'm just here to surprise. You're just you silent killer today. I dude. know. No, I mean, this one, if we're going from 2019 movies, Marriage Story, JoJo, and Parasite were the three that like have yeah. stuck with me, yeah. and I'm going to rewatch a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if I can rewatch Marriage Story. Fuck, I I can't either. I shouldn't, <laughs> but I'm going to. It was like, it's like engraved in my head. Yeah. like it's so good. Well, but. and then just the memes from that fight alone. <laughs> like I'm, that's all. Yeah. I don't even need to watch it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think also um some credit goes to like the movie going experience. It was oh, just yeah. really I saw it with friend of the pod Alex mm-hmm. um and a couple of, of other of our friends mm-hmm. um at Film Bar. And it w- that was just r- it was just a really cool experience, and it was kind of out of the blue of like, oh, hey, let's go let's see just this go movie. see it, yeah. yeah. Um, and it was just really fun. So yeah. you know that gives credit to movie going. Like some movies are meant to be seen in a theater. Oh yeah, yeah. of course. Like so. you don't you don't you don't wait for Star Wars to go on DVD. You don't. Jesus. You don't yeah, wait. Can you imagine? Yeah, like. Whew. Oh, you talk so. Oh, I'm waiting for Redbox. Like. <laughs> oh my God. Brother. <laughs> like you know, like oh in, inter- that's why I'm like I said it in the Interstellar. Sam's so snooty. I said <laughs> it in the movies. Interstellar episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I was pissed. I was grateful that that's I right. waited to watch it that long, but yeah. I'm mad and I regret that I never saw it in like IMAX or yeah. something because that would have been amazing. You and IMAX, man. Bro, come Every on, movie, it's great. Sam is like, let's go see it in IMAX, and I'm like, I'm not paying twenty seven dollars for this fucking movie. <laughs> it's the true experience, bro. <laughs> That's what you tell me. You're like, see it how it's supposed to be seen. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Dude, we're going to see Bond in IMAX, bro. I don't care what you say. We're seeing Tenet in IMAX for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Bond, I don't know about Bond, dude. Bro, it was I'm shot in 70. I'm not for Bond. Seven what? It was shot in the 70 mil, I think. 70 millimeter. Plus Rami. <sighs> Rami in, in IMAX? All right, all right. You got me. You, you got know me. it's going to be a long shot of him sitting in that room. <laughs> zooming up With to his face. With opera music. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know it. You I've been waiting know. for you, Mr. Bond. You fucking know. <laughs> that wasn't Blade Runner 2049, though. <sighs> You're right. You know what I mean? Fucking Jared, dude. Jared and Gauze. Yo, people are Gauze. saying the next Joker is Willem Dafoe. All right, we're out of here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, for real? I don't know. I saw a thumbnail on Don't YouTube. tell Harry. <laughs> <laughs> watch the video oh my gosh we hope you guys enjoy the episode um yeah. we gotta wrap this up you know studio time kind of thing you They're know kicking us out wings so. are waiting for us <laughs> oh shit but um we hope you enjoyed the episode if you made it this far and you haven't watched it wow we ruined the whole thing but go watch it um that scene will still hit the I scene promise. will still hit because i don't even know you don't really expect it you don't because i don't think i don't remember him being in that square no well with him and with his mom no, I know that, yeah, but yeah. like in that moment, I didn't realize he was in that square oh, until yeah, the, yeah, 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 so, yeah, um, the yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, and then, um, <laughs> you know, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at the Film Crawl. If you want to support us even more, five dollars a month at patreoncom slash Um, to get extra content. And just to announce it right now, next month's Patreon, we're committing to it. Yeah, we're committing God to damn. it. Next <laughs> month, next month's <laughs> Patreon episode will be on the mandalorian season one um so if any star wars lovers out there that aren't subscribed get over there now and listen to the other content that we already dropped out there yeah um or if you liked me um completely bombing star wars knowledge on our star wars episodes this yeah. past year um go go watch that episode <laughs> um, <laughs> it hasn't happened yet but yeah gonna have to teach nicole some more mando stuff mm-hmm. black um, saber stuff <laughs> Spoiler alert. Shit. Sorry. Shit, Fuck. Dude. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the content you get. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Two for me. Zero for Nicole. I think that's Nicole's like second or third zero on yep. the show. Yep. Um, zeros are rare in this. They in this really show, are. So now that you pointed yeah, out. So yeah. So I'm actually pretty. We're going to talk about this over dinner. But uh, we hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, please comment on um uh, instagram twitter like subscribe on youtube yeah leave a review on apple pod subscribe on spotify google iHeartRadio. tell your friends anywhere you listen yeah, your po- <laughs> anywhere you listen to your podcast uh we love you guys and we'll see you next tuesday bye guys, bye guys.